Hey everyone, we just wrapped our last Jedi Hizzy and I just saw Black Panther, so I thought it's a good time to do a quick Hizzy review. So, what do you say? You wanna talk some Black Panther? Then let's get let's to it. Let's talk Black Panther now. Let's talk Black Panther now. Cause he's the king of Wakanda, but Killmonger ain't too king. Black Panther is great. The end. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, you wanna talk more about it? Of course you do. Okay. Black Panther is a story of T'Challa and his path to ascend the throne of Wakanda after his father's death in Civil War. It's directed by Ryan Coogler, making this his third full-length feature, and he's made a superhero film that resonates on many levels. It's full of culture, tradition, mythology, and has a Shakespearean feel that just makes a fantastic film that easily stands on its own in this giant collection that is the massive cankled unicorn. I really enjoyed it, and I found it to be extremely inspiring. Chadwick Boseman is so perfect in this role, he just emanates what you want a leader to be. He shows strength, compassion, and wisdom. He always does what's right, and you believe he actually cares for the people. Black Panther is everything you want in a superhero. And on the flip side, Michael B. Jordan is also the perfect villain as Eric Killmonger. He's a character who's been burned by his heritage and wants to take back everything he feels he deserves. It's a completely believable character arc and makes for some very emotional conflict. I thought the film was fantastic, so I highly recommend you go see it. Go check it out. I think it's awesome. Take your kids. If you want them to look up to a superhero, Black Panther is the one to do it. And that's why he's king. So, enough with the generic review. Let's talk spoilers. Oh, the spoiler warning. Oh, the spoiler warning. I can't believe Black Panther called Spider-Man a wimp. He's all, sit down, wimp. The big boys are talking. Spider-Man's like, what the... What did I do? I'm not a wimp, I'm a beloved character. I'm Spider-Man, y'all. I'm just kidding, that's a stupid fake spoiler. I couldn't come up with anything, I'm sorry. And Spider-Man's not even in the movie, so, but I guess that is a spoiler. Uh, but spoilers ahead, people. What did I like about the film? I like the style. Everyone looks so cool in this movie and confident. They put a Kendrick Lamar beat on in the background, everybody walks in the room just looking awesome. It's so slick. We wanted Idris Elba to be the next James Bond, but who cares now, because we got the Black Panther. He's way cooler, and he respects women. What else did you like? I love the heritage and the tribal tradition of Wakanda. They have super advanced technology, but they stay rooted in their culture. They sort of portray this example of world peace, these different tribes living together in harmony. T'Challa is the king, but they're given the chance to challenge the seat with honor. I loved that. What else did I like? I love that they do this. I just love that respectful salute. It's just cool. I wish I lived in a place where we all respect each other like that. I liked that a lot. What did you think of the cast? Well, I already said, I think Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan knocked their characters out of the park. I didn't really have any problem with the cast. For the Wakanda characters, though, I think Okoye and Shuri stand out the most. Uh, these two women just kill it. Shuri is the super tech genius, and Okoye is the super powerful warrior. They both believe in Wakanda and basically have T'Challa's back all the time. Uh, I really love these two characters. What'd you think about them talking white guys? I think whoever came up with this, like, subtle meme by casting these two is genius. But I thought Bilbo and Gollum were great. Uh, Martin Freeman was entertaining as Everett Ross. He's learning about everything for the first time in Wakanda and he ends up helping fight in the end. Andy Serkis, on the other hand, what stood out to me was his voice. What do you know about Wakanda? I mean, he's got a cool robot hand and the, and the gun thing is neat. He's a good baddie, but I just wanted to like sit and listen to him talk. I mean, Snoke's got some range. What'd you think about the story? As far as the story goes, I didn't know what to expect about this movie going in. I had no knowledge of what Black Panther was in the comics. I didn't know what he stood for. I remember hearing when I was young that people really enjoyed Black Panther, but I never really sought it out. I was always just like, he looks like another Batman. I didn't know. What do you want? Anyway, I had no idea what to expect. As for the movie, I thought the story about Eric being left behind as a child because the king killed his father was really fascinating. It's a very believable origin to the villain's story, and he actually has an opinion that we can side with. He is on the outside, and he knows that Wakanda is hiding all of its wealth and power, while others are forced to grow up in a world of oppression. He wants to prove his worth and strength, and then we find out that he's actually blood to the throne, and that's when things get serious. He challenges T'Challa and wins. It's a very complicated and emotional conflict. The ways of the past were to protect Wakanda, but Killmonger wants to flex Wakanda's power to justify the suffering his people have endured. You find yourself feeling both perspectives, and people are forced to choose a side when Killmonger is the new king. Houses are divided, some run away, and others stay. 
This story was way more believable conflict than the whole Avengers Civil War if you asked me. So what was your favorite? It's difficult to say what my favorite thing is about this movie. Okoye standing in front of the path of the rhino was pretty awesome. I liked that. I think the most powerful moment was at the end with the sunset with T'Challa and Killmonger. And Killmonger says, just bury me in the ocean like the ancestors who jumped from the slave ships. I was like, oh my gosh, this movie cuts deep. It's so good. But what was the point? The point is actually my favorite part about Black Panther. Uh, the point is to make you think. Think about where we came from and what is the right way to move forward. We have a very messy history as a people. We have heritage, we have lands we want to protect, we have pride, we want justice. But what is the right thing to do? How do you guide a people when there is so much complicated conflict in the past? T'Challa's father says it's hard for a good man to be king. And that's exactly the point. It's hard to do what's right, but we have to strive for it. We have to work for growth. T'Challa says we need to build bridges, not barriers. Because if you can help the Earth, then you should. And that's exactly what Black Panther is going to do. And something we should all try to do. And I just think that's really cool. Okay, those are my thoughts on Black Panther. I hope you enjoyed them, and I hope you also enjoyed the movie as well. As someone who is new to the Black Panther saga, uh, please share below what you appreciate about the film, because I'd really like to know how it impacted you, or if it didn't impact you at all. We're talking about how it should have ended over here, and I'm just like, you know, the movie's pretty solid. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> anyway, we'll think of something. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. And we hope to see you next time. Bye.